yeah, so now that that's done, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a domain around uh, our, our body here. So you go over to prepare. It's pretty straightforward. You get enclosure. Bang. Select the whole thing. Now, there's something you should know. Um, so pulling from bottom left, bottom right to top left selects only things that it's completely covered <coughs> in the pull. So look here, I've covered the wheel, so the wheel gets selected here. But when I'm pulling this direction, it'll select stuff that aren't partially filled. So oh, I have a domain there. Sorry. Okay, so let me escape out of all that. So see that? Compare this drag to this drag. So you see that one selected stuff like this panel here, which I hadn't fully covered, but that was still involved in the click. Whereas this drag doesn't select it because I haven't fully covered it. So just be aware that there's different types of uh, drags um, when you're when you're working with uh, space claim. Cool. Right, where am I here? So enclosure. Select all of that there. Right. You probably want a asymmetric. Uh, you do want an asymmetric. Uh, enclosure now i know my vehicle to be about 10 meters long so i want it to be four times that in front so i might go four times ten thousand so you see that there and um, i geez you want it to be about 10 times that behind but for this here i'm only going to make it about you know seven times four thousand uh sorry ten thousand ten thousand long okay that's what your domain size should be uh to the sides then i know the vehicle to be maybe around two meters wide so it might go you know, three times that at the side. Uh, you can work this out. As I said, you should do a domain study to work that stuff out on, on how wide you need this to be. Keep making it bigger and bigger and bigger until the drag result uh, closes down. There's another thing called blockage ratio. Blockage ratio is looking in from the front here and seeing how much of your domain's rectangle there is covered by the shape of the vehicle there. So you work out the area of your vehicle and get it as a percentage of the total thing there. And you want to keep that blockage ratio down to about uh, less than 5%. Okie doke. Uh, vehicles, we'll say it's two meters tall as well, so I might keep uh, 6,000 on top as well there. Uh, I'm not going to put a dimension in for the bottom. You're going to see I'm going to just cut that out in a second. Now be very careful. Do not click anywhere else here. You just need to click the tick. If you clicked anywhere, it should get rid of all the dimensions you put in. You have to put them in again. So you'll learn about that as time goes on. All right. That'll do. So you can see there are all my components loaded in there. Ten components. Remember the ten things I showed you in SolidWorks. There's the enclosure. So I'm going to turn that off for a second. And I'm going to come in here and look at the Z plane. All right, I'm going to do some sketches. I'm actually going to draw, get rid of this here. I'm not going to be drawing on that for a second. So I'm going to turn that plane off. I'm going to draw on this plane though. So let's do a sketch here. Sketch on that plane. Now, so I'm going to do a body of influence around my vehicle like that now you can do individual i could put one around the van and one around the trailer if i want but i'll just do one around this so the way you do is you go return to 3d mode here very very important that you click no merge see no merge and then you click pull in both directions cool same thing again you can pull it as much as you want but just click a space there now i know the vehicle to be 2000 meters wide so I might go for something like 500 each side, so 5,000. Or, no, I want to go maybe 3,000. And that should give it a good cover either side. Okie doke. Now, that will do me perfectly fine. Uh, I'll turn that off. Well, I can leave that on there. What I'm going to do is, as well, on this plane, I'm going to draw another body of influence. And this body of influence is going to be called the wake. So this is a nice move for drawing the wake. So I can just draw a rectangle like that. Uh, very important, no merge, pull both sides. Yeah, we call this 3,500. Now, that's fine. Come back here, click on this, click no merge, and click up to. Turn back on your enclosure, click the back of your enclosure. So that takes a bit of practice, but you'll get into it. So that was a pretty nice way of creating a body of influence for the wake what a body of influence is it's a it's a it's a cube that i can restrict the size of a cell in so in the wake i want to capture the detail there so i want the cells to be smaller than in up here in the top right corner you know it's not much going on up there and same around the car i want the cells to be very fine so i can restrict them inside that box there okie doke right so let's turn off that plane there that i've just drawn on and let's go in here and turn off my enclosure again okie doke 
and turn off these body of influences. All right. So what I want to draw on now is the plane that I didn't draw on, and you'll see why. So there we go. Get a rectangle, and we'll start drawing on that. And around this, I'm going to create some body of influences for my wheels. So look at this. One wheel, two wheel, and you can dimension them as you like. And I know there's two wheels here, so I'm going to go zoom. All right, back to 3D. Now remember, now press control if you want to select multiple of these, like that. Now, always important, no merge. I don't want to pull in both directions. See, I'm already 30 mil off the wall, so maybe bring it in there, you know. So I might go 310 backwards. And there you go, body of influence around the wheels. Very tidy. Okay, so I can just press escape now that's created. Lovely. Okay, so now that I have them created, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to suppress. I'm going to turn off as a viewing. So I'll turn on my solids. I'll turn on my enclosure. But I'm going to turn off all the car components. Turn on the planes for the crack there. Okay, so I'm going to suppress all hidden. Ah, no, no, I didn't want to do it that way. Sugar. Okay, so no, you just want to suppress uh, all of these. I thought that was a quick way of doing that. But you just suppress them all, to be honest, because we don't want any solid parts. We just want the domains that we just created there. Cool. So the 10 components that you initially had, suppress them, keep your enclosure on, and keep your solids. Why is there four solids? Uh, five solids, well, you know, there's the three I put around the wheels, and then there's the wake and the body around the car. Cool. So that's that's pretty decent there. You definitely want to save the project as you're rolling along here, so just uh, click File, Save Project is what you want to roll with there, because you've saved it already outside in Workbench. Okay. So next thing, next thing, next thing is we want to trim these body of influence because we're only doing symmetric because this is symmetric. Uh, the vehicle is symmetric, so we only need to simulate half the domain. Uh, you do not want to simulate the entire domain. You're going to double your time, your resources, how much storage, all of that, and you're going to get the same results. So just simulate half of it. Makes sense to me at least. Right. See this split body? I want to split him. Where do I want to split them? I want to split them along a symmetry plane. You need to be very careful with this. Um, I want to get rid of this side. Gone. Just like that. Okay. That is the side I want to get rid of. It is, yeah. So you can see the X, Y plane there. X, Z, Y. So I want to maybe have um, my positive Z reading into the car rather than having negative Z if I left this part of the car, you know. Anyways, that's that cut off. You'll see it at the end. So same again. Click split body. So you should be careful with this. Click the him. Click the plane. Then click that. As if you don't follow that pattern there, you'll see what happens. And it can be pretty annoying. It's pretty buggy. Okay. So this. This. And see it? This. So I cut the bottom off that guy. Same. There's going to be a bottom on him. So select him. Select the plane. And select that little bottom there gone okay next thing is these little bits hanging out the edge select plane him gone split 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 Ooh. so i think is that it um uh, yeah that's pretty much it so i can turn off these planes now cool so what i'm going to do is i'll just turn off these and you can see what i've created oh i want the enclosure so there's the enclosure that's what it looks like now I oh, don't want to print it, Jesus. File save project. So look at this. It has all the shape of the trailer kind of embossed into the enclosure, but there is no solid objects anymore. So it's kind of taking the shape of the solid. So all that's going to be fluid. All of this is going to be fluid, but this is going to be put down as solid walls and then the fluid won't be able to move over the walls rather than having any solids into the um, like these solids here, there's no need for them in the simulation. Cool, so that's it. And then you have, look at these boxes. So they're, you know, them boxes are just going to be so that I can set uh, max cell height. So that's that's pretty much um, the bulk of pre-process. So we're going to create something called name selections. I'll make another video for that.